Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss how to integrate OpenAI with the .NET Core and the Angular 15 application. So before that, we should have the basic knowledge what is the OpenAI and the ChatGPT. So basically currently in the market, ChatGPT is trending and the use of this ChatGPT is basically, it is a kind of an artificial intelligence and it gives the response in fraction of seconds if we want to ask any query. It gives the response with respect to the coding like if you want to ask any query or any output of any like uh, uh, any uh, coding we can get that from the chat GPT apart from that if you want to uh, like want to get any answer related to any article or any um, uh, question we can get it through the chat GPT so chat GPT is basically a kind of a artificially intelligent which is doubled by the open AI so to use the jet chat GPT in our application first we should have the account in the open AI so to create the uh, account in the open AI we have to uh, go through the open AI URL and there we have to register our cell using the mail ID and the phone number so now the next thing is like if you want to uh, know more knowledge and like you want to see how to create the application and how you want to uh, create the account using the open AI and the chat GPT you can find that link in the description section there uh, I have explained uh, from uh, like start to end like how we use it and uh, like basically how we create account on the open AI so now in this video we will proceed like how to use that in our dotnet core and the angular application so first we have to create the account and once you will create the account and when you will log in you will come to this openai.com and you will see this dashboard and here you have to go on the personal and from here you have to click on the view api key and from the view api key you will come to this link and from here you have to create your own uh, new secret key and so basically like what you have to do to use this new uh, secret key like you have to click on this a pop-up window will come and from there you can copy that secret key and you can keep it somewhere so you can utilize it um, in the future so since i have already created a secret key so i'm going to use the existing one so this is the api key we are going to use to implement the chat gpt in our application now the next thing i have created a, this uh, application that is the asp.net core web application and here like i'm using visual studio 2022 now here the next part what we have to do we have to use the dependency and to use that we have to go to the NuGet package manager and we have to install the open ai package i have already installed here and you can see it is installed in my system now the next thing we need to add the controller so from here you can click add and controller and i'm going to use the api controller and we have to give the name so here i'm going to use the open ai now here you can see the controller is basically inherited from the controller base and we are going to use the uh, ai um, so basically like api we are going to create here and this api we will use in in the angular side so to like uh, I have already uh, have the code so I'll paste it so it will what will happen like it will reduce the our time and then we will see what is in the code so here is the code so basically here you will see I have defined the route and it is inherited from the API controller and here I created one method called get data it is taking one string input which which will come from our client side means from the angular side and here what we have to do we have to use our AI uh, API so basically this open uh, key is we will get it from here like whatever we are looking at from here we have to use this key here and after that we, I have taken a one variable called response and here I have created an object of open AI API and then I have created an object of the completion request and here you can see I am using the prompt so basically we are passing this input so this request will take like what is the question is coming and this is the model and the type of the response and the max talk token is 4000 we have assigned now this open uh, ai has the method called this create completion uh, async and it is taking this uh, everything like what kind of the input means the question it is what kind of the model and what is the token length is this and through that it will get the output 
through that API and we are collecting that output and getting uh, the response from here. So this is the API we have created when I will run this application. So it will open in the swagger. So basically like here first we have to use the API key. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to put my API key here. So basically the secret key which we have generated. So here you can see like I have used this uh, key here. Now let's run this application. And when you will run this application, what we will see, we will see our controller called open AI. And with that, we will get the method which we created and the method name is the get data. Now let's use it here. And what I'm going to use like uh, what is chat GPT. And when I will click on this execute, what will happen? It will give the response and the response code should uh, should be 200 and it should give like what is the chat GPT and we know like when we use the chat GPT the response and the output is basically different every time it generate the response in the different way and we can see the response body chat GPT is a natural language so basically the definition it is giving and we can see our API is working as expected now the next part what we have to do we have to create the angular 15 application so to create the angular 15 application uh, like uh, you can find that link in the description section from there you can see like how we create the angular 15 application so here uh, like i have already created this application we have a couple of the files called app component html ts file and like app module.ts and others file we can see here now here what we have to do to use the API first what we have to do we have to create the service so what I'm going to do I'm going to create one service and in that service like uh, what I will do so like the command is basically nggs open AI we can use ngg service open AI also so our service name is open AI so what I'm going to do using the HTTP client I'm going to consume the uh, API which we have created so here let's uh, open this open AI services now here what we have to do we have to use the couple of the uh, uh, things and that is the basically first of all we have to use the HTTP client in the constructor so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the private HTTP and the type of this will be the HTTP client so HTTP client I'm going to use here and it comes from the common HTTP now the next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to create a one method and that method name I'm going to give the get data I will take one parameter in this and the type of this uh, parameter is basically a string and the return type will be the observable so that like what will happen through that uh, like we will uh, return from here any kind of the data it can give and this observable is comes from the rxjs so import and it will come from rxjs and what we are going to use we are going to use the observable so let's use that observable so observable and this we are going to use here now the next thing let's implement that so return and this dot http dot get so this method i'm going to use now here what we have to give we have to pass the uh, basically this api key so let's copy this one and here let's paste it and instead of this like this is the port number in your uh, like if you are going to create your application in your case it can be different so now api and after this api what we have to do we have to give the controller name that is the open ai and then we have to use the controller name and the control name we have already written now we have to use the method name so this is the method name and after using the method name now next what we have to do we have to pass the parameter so that is the input and then let's put the input the value which we are taking from the method now the next thing is response type we are going to use and that response type will be the text so this response type we are going to take so this is the service which we have created now the next thing what we have to do we have to design one 
screen so from like we will take the text uh, text box of one button and then from there what we will do when we will click on that button it should give the uh, like it should hit to that api and should uh, receive that response and should show to us so i have already designed that html so that i'm going to write here so here I have already this HTML. So basically you can see like uh, I'm using couple of that uh, div and here I'm using the basically input type text and here I'm using the uh, ng model that is the search text value. And now what we have to do, we have to define these value in our uh, like in the TS file. So let's define. So first is the uh, search text value. So this is the string type. So let's take and I'm going to assign as in empty and the next thing what we have to do we have to assign assign the output the next thing is so this is the text box now the next thing is basically a method so we can define this method as well so let's uh, define this method now the next part is basically like here you can see I'm using two div one div is basically like it will show the output once the response we will get it will show the output so let's copy this and it will be uh, one boolean type and first value will be the false next is the output we will show so let's copy this and string in the it will be the empty next is the is loading so like we will show like that data is basically loading so for that purpose uh, I have taken one variable and it's basically we are not using the progress bar but uh, like for the understanding purpose like it is currently in the um, use or not so for that purpose we are using now the next thing we have to use the service so service and the type of this service is open AI service now here in this uh, result method what we have to do like once uh, user will hit uh, the button so this dot I'm saying is loading is true so that particular div will show now this dot output so basically I'm refreshing it if user click multiple times on that button so output will be the refresh here now this dot service dot get data and it will get this dot search text value so whatever we will enter in the text box it will go and from here i'm using the subscribe and the data and here what i'm going to do this dot output is equal to data as a string i'm taking now the next thing is this dot show output i'm making it true so that particular div i am showing now and the next is like this dot is loading i'm making it false so that i have designed here so these couple of the things i have done now let's go on the browser and let's go localhost 4200 and we can see our uh, like uh, uh, url uh, on this 4200 you are showing like this now here let's give the data and see what output is coming so now here let's see what is angular 15 so when i will click on this one we can see one div is showing that is the loading and once the response will show what will happen this div will uh, like uh, go and here that output will show and that output will see in a bit so basically currently it is hitting to that api and from there it is processing and then it is getting the data from that api and then it will subscribe to that data and it will show that data in our like it's basically integrate the data into the html and through that it will uh, like print the data in the html side and we can see the output is showing and it is uh, giving the response in that way similar way like if we want to uh, get like what is the dot net so you can see what is dot net so here if i will get the result it will give the response in that respective way and we can see the response related to that like what is the dotnet so this is the way we can integrate the open ei with the 
dot net core and the angular application you can find this code in the github link and uh, you can find that github link in the description section as well so this is the way like we can integrate our uh, like uh, .NET Core and Angular application with the OpenAI and what we need to do first we need to create the secret key and then we have to consume that secret key using a method and this is the logic to consume that one and after that we have to create the Angular application and then we have to use uh, that application uh, like through that service we have to communicate to the API .NET Core API and then we have to write the logic to print the data so this is the way of doing it so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you